afternoon or good evening to everyone out there in the webs. This is my co-host, Lucas. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas, this is Lucas Valenzuela. I am Roberto Valenzuela, and we're here to talk about the most incredible lens release from Canon in a long, long time called the Canon RF 100-300 f 2.8. And I am very proud and honored that I photographed the international campaign for this lens. And I am here to uh, share with you my experience photographing this, this lens under such a high pressure environment and how it performed anywhere from nature floral shots to high fashion pictures to dynamic lighting photos. How does it create contrast? How does, how does the zoom range actually affect uh, the way you compose or the way you see the scene in front of you, which is probably the biggest deal there is. Uh, first of all, it's a really beautiful lens and it doesn't weigh much. Lucas, can you carry this? As you can see, a five-year-old can carry it. Do you have a problem carrying this? Nope. No, because you're so strong. Oh my goodness. Are you just lifting that up all by yourself? Yeah. Oh my goodness. You are so incredible. Okay. So say less, right? Everything is right there. Everything is right there. You saw the five-year-old carrying the lens with an R5 with a battery grip. And what kind of, what kind of complaints do we get? Say zero. Zero. Were you able to hold that nice and easy? Yeah. Show everyone your muscles. Oh yeah, that's it people, okay? So let's get started with this beautiful lens. Uh, why am I so excited about it? I'm excited about it because you're excited about it, right? I'm right. Yes! I'm excited about it because this is the can this is the zoom lens that most people go to. This is your 20, your 70 to 200 RF 2.8. This is a classic, everyone has this lens. It's compact, it's small, it's powerful, it's sharp, it's great. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, why am I so excited then about the 300, uh, 100 to 300? Because how many millions of times has 200 millimeters just not been enough? Or why, what happens when you're, you're shooting from 200 to 300? That 100 millimeters actually adds a lot to your, to your creative composition. And you don't know that because you don't have this lens. So it's one of those, like, this is basically my experience with it. When I started shooting the campaign for this lens, I thought, okay, it's basically... Let's do 7200 and then you add 100. But that wasn't the case at all. That, that the, the extra 100 actually changed a lot. It changed everything. And, uh, and also what happens when you go to 300 millimeters at 2.8 and you stay at 2.8? So let's take a look. Um, when I first received the lens, I really loved the way it looked. It looks extremely professional. It looks very sturdy. It's got weather sealing um, on the back and it has a really nice big lens cap. This is 112 millimeters. And when you put this hood on it, it looks extra cool and you look like you are the boss no matter where you are. And being the boss is what matters, right, Lucas? Right. Who's the boss? Who? Say whoever holds this lens. Whoever holds the lens? That's right, whoever holds this lens is the boss. Oh, this is daddy's. Let's not touch that one yet, okay? You can touch this one. Show everyone how you can carry it. Say, this is nothing. This is nothing. That's right. You saw it, okay? So here's what the lens looks like, and this is what it looks like pointed at you. This is the length of it. Here is a 7200 in comparison. And of course, you should know that the, the 100 to 300 has an internal zoom. So if you were to zoom this out, to, to just to be fair, you end up with a comparison of something about that is the big is the difference okay so you're getting about it's just about five or six more inches from one to the other with their hoods on okay and if you take the hood off if you take this off not, not that you would but just saying if you do take it off and you leave this on then there you can see now the comparison it's not that much different okay they're about an inch and a half to two inches apart okay so that's um if people say well that thing is huge and people are like well but the 7200 is so small well <laughs> this proves it to you this is what it is and this is what it is okay and if you take if you zoom out because this has the zoom that expands the barrel you can see that the difference is not that big at all okay so i hope that settles that situation Okay, guys, let's discuss the very first thing that everybody's wondering. How the heck can you justify $9,500 for a lens? And here's my answer. Now that I've shot the campaign and I've experienced what it can do, would I buy this lens? And honestly, I absolutely would. 
it, it is it is to me like a 7200 on massive steroids okay it's basically the lens that i use the most is a 7200 by buying 100 to 300 with the ability to put uh, teleconverters in the back of the lens it allows me to have a lens that can go from 100 all the way to 600 millimeters with this guy you lose one stop and this is the 1.4 teleconverter and this is the 2x teleconverter you will lose two stops with this so if you do the math 2.8 two stops later you're at 5.6 that's nothing that's a great deal of light still to, to work with so it's not like you're at f11 or something like that you're at f5.6 like you can collect a lot of light at 5.6 right especially with these cameras iso so to me the ability to go from 100 all the way to 600 and then let's talk about the other part about why this this lens would be something you might want to consider if you have a canon r7 or some sort of cropped factor um, crop sensor lens um, sorry crop sensor camera now you can take this lens and put the 2x extender and now if, if you're on a if you crop the sensor or if you're on an r7 you would basically end up with 600 millimeters times 1.6 so you would be at 960 millimeters with the same lens with you know if you put it on a canon r7 with a crop sensor so you know there it is um now the first let's when the campaign began um i wanted to create a variety of different kinds of photographs uh the first set i wanted to do was to be able to demonstrate the lens's ability to create a milky background from a forest so we went to the forest and we took this photo right here and we started with this we shot everything with pro photo lights and we, i shot everything with my canon r5 and look at the background on that so this is pretty milky in the background okay like that is more blur than you would get with a 7200 okay and the fact that i can just zoom in to whatever i want from that and get different perspectives is where it's to me is where the lens pays for itself right uh, look at this and and I shot this at 2.8 because I wanted to show you that how creamy it is you can't even see what the background is which was a forest it was just like a forest bushy like trees grass tall grass this was near Reseda California near Malibu California in their near their state park area just on the road and uh, you can't even tell what the background is this separation is hard to get with a with any other lens unless you're shooting with like a 85 1.2 or 1.4 this kind of background i think you would agree it looks completely out and completely milky buttery and just beautiful so yeah and if we want to zoom in look how just intensely sharp the photo is so i'm sitting there back there taking this photo with this lens i'm hand holding it and just look at the sharpness of this and no i did not shoot this at iso 1600 this photo was these photos were shot at iso let's see these photos were shot at, at my exposure time was 1 200th because i was using flash and uh, i shot this at let's see two aperture yeah 2.8 and uh my yeah fired and my focal length of, on this was 300 millimeters okay so this was this was the the lens that is 300 millimeter capability now during the campaign i did not put this on but because i don't i'm not going to shoot a fashion shoot i was doing fashion editorial commercial fashion kind of things i'm not going to shoot this with a teleconverter but if you wear another another reason is if you were to take this lens on vacation if you're crazy enough and to take this somewhere or you have a photo shoot that you might want to do a variety of things or shoot from a boat or whatever what better lens that can give you that reach than this right because if 100 to 300 is not enough put the teleconverter on and now you disguise the limit and if that's not enough put it on a canon r7 or any kind of canon rf camera that has a cropped sensor and now you're almost at a thousand millimeters with the same lens so yeah um this photo right here just goes to show you how blurred the background is and how sharp the model in the front lakin looks and and it just basically demonstrates how clear and the optics are just su superb on this which is kind of why you're paying um here you have some action shots this was to show 
the, the two girls walking towards the camera, I had this on servo AF or continuous continuous autofocus where it would track the, the person's face and the lens was able to keep the, the, the 5.5 stops of stabilization were being utilized. The, the two models were walking towards me. The lens kept up with them perfectly. The camera kept up with them perfectly, even though they were walking towards me. Now, you try to do that with a 7200 and it works, but it's impressive that a lens that has 100 to 300 in that kind of range can still track people so perfectly walking towards the camera. Imagine photographing this at a wedding with a bride walking towards you. You can actually zoom in, get tears in her eyes and zoom out and capture the whole audience reacting to those tears or whatever in one second. So yeah, um, you know, and so we did that. One of the other super impressive photos that I thought I couldn't believe I could take with this lens was the flower, the, the floral dress photo on the ground. Okay, we have Ara, the model on the left, and we have Lakin, the model on the right in this photo. They're laying on the ground. And as you can see, by the behind the scenes, I am actually hand holding the lens as far as I can from my arms, okay? Like basically like this. I used the very, very handy rotating screen and I was able to basically put and create my composition looking at the screen while this giant lens was actually being held away from my body as much as possible with my hands and still get perfect focus on the eyes. You couldn't do that with a lens that's like a 400 f4 or a 600 f4 you wouldn't be able to do it because this lens another thing is that the focusing the minimum focusing distance on this lens is very very good like it's only 1.6 meters or something like that the fact that you can that that you can handhold something like that close and still be able to achieve focus is another of the unique features of this lens and why it makes this lens so darn remarkable Okay, so as you can see by the photo, and let me zoom in for you here, look how tack sharp everything is, okay? That's what you want. And the fact that I was still able to get part of their dresses and the, and the fashion that we stylized by Lisa Craig, uh, amazing stylist, um, the fact that we can still get all that depth, uh, all that width in a photo that I'm hand holding with a super telephoto lens goes to show you and speaks on the versatility of this. So let's move on to the next one. Take a look at this photo of the model Lakin uh, against the white wall. Uh, look at just the, I don't know how to explain it, just the contrast, the way, it, the, way it, the sharpness of it and how it captures light in something like this. Uh, I just think it looks amazing and, and I love how sharp everything is with this uh, or this one, for example. Love it, handheld. And one of the things to, to think about is, is the, um, the compression on this is extremely flattering for a person, uh, more flattering than a 7200 because you're compressing a little bit more and you're also starting at 100 millimeter, uh, millimeters. So you have very flattering range, zoom range for people for photography. That's why people are like, oh, this is great for sports, which it is by far. It is probably the best lens for sports but it's also one of the best lenses for fashion and portrait photography and wedding photography because you can zoom in and out and be able to get this very flattering compression no matter what part of the zoom you're in and you don't have to worry about it, okay? Uh, so that was really fun. This one, this photo of Gary, um, this, photo, this model Gary was just incredible, um, but look at the sharpness of this. Uh, this is just an incredible retouch too by Lana Polich and and the and the model Gary just looked almost surreal in how sharp it looks. Um, his eyes are just tack sharp and you can even see the wetness of his eyes. Um, and so, you know, you're photographing this with this lens and you, you're capturing all these looks. Take a look at this black and white one with beautiful lighting there from Profoto. And then we laid him against the wall to create that beautiful look. And then we zoomed in close. We changed the background to a black background. And then I put a pro photo light uh, in front, right underneath his hat. And we put a napkin, as you can see by the PTS, we put a napkin halfway through the pro photo magnum diffuser or magnum uh, reflector. So it wouldn't actually shine too much on the leather jacket. And then we put another light bouncing off from the ceiling. So the light would bounce back and create separation between the black hat and the black flag in the background. 
And as you can see, we got that separation perfectly and we were able to get that rim light. And then from there, I'm photographing him and zooming in and creating a very powerful, very intimate look between Gary and, and, and the person looking at the photo. Like when you look at this, it looks, you definitely can agree, it has an intensity to it. It has, it has strength and power. And that's because this was taken at 300 millimeters at f2.8. So that extra 200 to 300, you can see how much power it, it, it adds to the photo and how incredibly blurry, buttery, milky, chocolate background you get with this kind of combination. Then we brought Lakin in again, and now I was able to zoom out from that super powerful composition of a portrait of Gary, and now we're able to get two of them all the way down to their hips. I mean, I'm even getting part of his pants, everything. And I didn't even have to switch lenses. I was able to just grab the camera and simply zoom out. So that's it. So here's the zoom, here's zoom out, and look how smooth this is. So smooth. And also I have this ring, the control ring here in the front, I have the program to Kelvin temperature. So if I'm quickly trying to convert the, the color temperature, I just do it with a ring. Okay, so to the left is more blue, to the right is more orange. Okay, now I didn't use this button here, but you can if you're like photographing wildlife or birds, but this is another cool new feature. You can program this autofocus preset button and you can just grab it right here. Here's your shutter and here is the preset button. So you could easily grab this and push it and the lens will be will be sent right to that exact focus point that you have pre-programmed in case you're looking waiting for a bird to arrive in its nest or something you don't have to like hunt for for focus you can just be like bam go right to it and take a picture so that's another feature that the 7200 just doesn't have so anyway this photo goes to show you how we were able to zoom out and be able to create uh, a more fashion look that shows the entire thing okay moving on to the next photo um Talking about zooming out, we, we are able to completely zoom out in this room. We, we are uh, at a, in the living room of this beautiful home that I rented for the photo shoot. And we were able to just pose out of the model there in a more casual setting, kind of just chilling. And then I was able to, same lens, zoom all the way out to 100 millimeters and be able to capture, capture her from her shoes all the way to her hat. And if you just notice the photo that I'm looking at and you look at the screen, Notice how beautiful the proportions are. There's nothing distorted. There's no barrel distortion. There's no wide angle weird lines. It just looks clean, straight, and darn sharp. And that's, that was, this photo was to feature how in an indoor in environment, because you're shooting at 2.8, you're getting the same 2.8 as a 7200. So you, you're able to gather that kind of light and be able to shoot. You would think a, a photo like this you would have to use a Canon, like, like this is my favorite lens in the whole world, that, this one and the 100 to 300, but this one definitely was a life-changing lens for me, but that, this is the Canon RF 28 to 70 f2.0. Anyone that has it understands why I love it so much and how useful this lens can be. If you're at a wedding, you could almost photograph this the entire wedding with this and you're good to go. But if you have the combination of this lens and that RF 100 to 300, now you're talking serious power here because now you're, you're able to just have that on one body, this on another body, and you never have to switch to anything again. That's true for pretty much everything, uh, most applications, okay? But no, I did not need that 28 to 70 for this. I was able to do it with the same 100 to 300, and I think that is pretty cool. We went outside and we wanted to turn off the strobes and see how it captures natural light. So we, we found, we have these um, stripes of shadow to create interest on the walls and be able to create extra interest on the shadows coming from the hat. And I think uh, the way it captured this, the way the lens handled this, um, it couldn't have handled it better, basically. I mean, you can look at the photo, you can look at the photo for, for yourself and see, let me zoom in on this real quick, and you can see how beautiful and how sharp and how great everything looks. One of the things I love is how no matter what I do, the proportions on a human being are always flattering. It's always perfect. Whereas with a 28 to 70, if you make a mistake on your composition, you're too close and you're, you're on the wide side, you could get some weird um, compression or weird distortion on the body. The legs can look extra long, whatever. Not, not with this lens. So um, moving on to the photos of the interior with three of them. 
this is supposed to look more like a cinematic feel to the photograph. And again, I was in a tight room and in the behind the scenes, you will see that even in a tight room, I was able to capture three people. I shot this at 2.8. At so I decided to focus on, on a specific person and you can see how the other ones are just kind of there. And you can see that I was able to get people from head to toe. You, you can see that you can capture three people at the same time. So anybody that thinks like you, you can only shoot close up one person. No, this is three people and it's in a tight room. Because I'm a shooting at 2.8, I can also focus on one person and the other two will be slightly off or I can shoot at F8 and get all of them in focus. It's up to you. Okay, so those were those photos and I think those came out super fun. Um, this is one of my favorite pictures. This was done with the uh, line locks uh, lights that I, I, this was the Evoke 1200B uh, made by Nanlux and it was one of the best lighting decisions I could have made. Uh, that light, um, Evoke 1200B, I put it on the side of the window on the left and then that light, I put it on tungsten so you can, you can change the color on that. It's called B because it's by color. And then I was able to create that arch of light, which then was basically the framing graphic element for Ada, the model that we had. I simply went to the back. I adjusted the light so the shadow would look super cool. And then we went to the back and we started shooting this photo. As you can see, it looks like this photo was taken with like a 24 to 70 or something like that because it's so wide. Um, but it was taken with the same. Obviously, the whole all the shots are taken with 100. It's just part of my excitement about about this lens it's very simple its versatility is unmatched its versatility is unmatched by any lens in the world doesn't matter who or what company or what lens you're talking about no one nothing in my opinion can even touch the versatility of a lens like this so it's worth it just for that in my opinion and that's why i would definitely pick it up okay from here, we went to some cool photos of her moving towards him and she was actually in movement. And this is cool because the, the lens was still fast enough on its focusing and its image stabilization that as she was walking, it was be able to track her perfectly. And I was hand holding this while she was moving. A lot of action for the lens to keep track and it did it. Um, this photo right here was of Lakin and I just wanted to capture that beautiful light taken with the Evoke 1200B by Nanlux and be able to just get that light and shoot it, shooting it. And we also had a pro photo um, pointed at the black outfit. So you, you know, you, you were able to create separation between the blacks in the, in her clothing. Um, after that, we went to the pool and look at the beautiful back. I just blurs completely. And, and I, I didn't even shoot this at 300. I shoot this pretty wide. So I think this photo was shot at, yeah, it, it was shot at 100. So if I was to go further back, which I totally could have, and I would have zoomed in, I would have blurred the background even more to complete oblivion, like I did with the first set of photos. Uh, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it at 100, at 2.8. And I love the way this looks. It looks amazing. Um, so super fun. Um, just to finish off, I, I'm going to show you these photos of Gary. Just love the way this lens basically crops geometry, but uh, the way it handles geometry, look at how straight all the lines are. There's no distortion. There's no barrel things. There's no weird lines curving funny. I love that about this lens. You can just grab this sucker and shoot and straight lines and they're going to stay straight. And that's like so amazing to have. I mean, look at these photos of Ada going up the stairs. Uh, because I was able to zoom out to 100, I was able to capture that whole reflection too which is pretty cool to be able to do. So that's worth of those. For these photos, these are Canon red. This is the, the actual Canon Pantone colors. But I, I went back further and I zoomed in to get to capture this. And I just love the way it came out. We, we did some cutouts um, to create some graphic elements. Otherwise it'd just be white wall and too much white. And it's fun to create some geometry or some graphic elements in the photo. So we just did that with paper and we cut it up, we put it up and uh, you know, my brother-in-law Daniel and Lan uh, Don were basically creating this these shapes, and everybody was working trying to get them going. And we didn't have like exact cutting things. So Daniel, my brother-in-law, he's an engineer, so he was able to figure out how to do perfect shapes and create everything with just using a rope. So that was kind of fun, <laughs> a little behind the scenes, as you can see. But look at this, 
like how cool is that? I that, like essence. Uh, Lisa Craig's um, assistant was actually picking up the the red gown and the dress and be able to give it some movement, and then Lakin was creating some more dramatic posing and some more fun and and then with the lens I was able to just zoom in or zoom out to the perfect composition that I want. Because I'm at 2.8, my shutter speed was as fast as I wanted it to be. I, I just thought this was one of my favorites. Um, this is beautiful. This is one of the strongest points of the lens that as, after I'm shooting the photos that are with the geometry and all this stuff, I can zoom in to whatever I want, 250, 280, 300 millimeters and create an instant beauty shot. Instant beauty shot. And then another one right here. Look at this. Okay. Look at that. No need to change lenses. It is incredible how you can just recreate the entire composition in a split second because that range is in the tip of your fingers. And then lastly, I did this photo. I just thought it would be cool to combine the white outfit he was wearing with the red Canon outfit. And this creates the, red, the Canon colors, white and red, just like the lens. You have the white with the red stripe saying you it's an L series lens. And uh, so that was what I was trying to create is this kind of color, this kind of Canon color situation. Um, so guys, I'm going to leave it at that. My experience with the lens was beyond positive. I did not expect how much it, it changed my way of shooting and how I can go from a wide angle shot to a complete beauty shot in a split second. And that changes the way I will photograph from today forward. Uh, because of the lens. I cannot stress enough that when people say it's a zoom, so it's not as sharp as a prime, please take a look at the photos on the screen that you can see now and you tell me if it could be any sharper because it is not possible to make it any sharper. Okay, it is as sharp as it can be. All right, how sharp is it? Okay, say it's super sharp. So sharp. Say it's no problem. It's no problem. That's right. So guys, from my co-host, Lucas, say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Say it was nice to see you all. It's nice to see you all. Mm -hmm. um, guys, with that being said, I'll let, you, I'll, I'll let you guys make your own decision. This is nothing but my experience photographing the campaign. Uh, again, I'm very thankful to Canon for choosing me to shoot the campaign. I am beyond honored. Um, and don't forget to check out my conference in Tucson called thephotocreators.com, thephotocreators.com. We have it every year. It is meant to optimize the highest level of education you could possibly receive at a single conference. It's a retreat style conference. It's in Tucson at a dude ranch. It's, it, it's in the mountains. It's a, it's a retreat, but full of the most amazing photography instructors, photography students, photography gear. Everybody goes and we import top models for this. It's just an incredible experience focused on quality of education and improving people's businesses, okay, in the photo world. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video and we'll see you. And if you do have, a, if you do have questions about this, uh, please let me know on the comments. Tell me if you think I'm crazy for recommending this lens. You can put that on the comments. I'm just giving you my honest opinion that the versatility of this is pretty unmatched especially when you can combine it with teleconverters and create a super extreme telephoto lens all in one piece okay thank you guys for watching i will see you on the next video thank you bye